Hi students, it's Mr. Nguyen here. Thanks for joining me for another tutorial video. Uh, today we're going to be working on uh, the zero product property. Uh, we use this property to help us solve uh, quadratic equations. Okay, so let's take a look at that property real quick before we start. So the zero product property says if you are if you multiply one or more or two or more things um, together. So the products of uh, of um, the factors. If the products of the factors are equal to zero, then each of those factors can equal to zero themselves. So if a times b times c equal to zero, then a equals zero, or either b equal to zero or c is equal to zero. So either one of those factors could potentially be equal to zero, and and the product would be true, right? The product would be equal to zero. So uh, we take advantage of this property to uh, solve quadratic equations. So what we do is we factor the quadratic equations and um, set each of those factors equal to zero and solve them uh, separately, okay? Uh, so that's what we're gonna do today um, using IXL. So <clears throat> here we have a um, quadratic equation that is already in factor form. So we use factor form to show, to demonstrate the product. Uh, zero product property. So what we do is we set each one of them equal to zero. So we're going to say that um, um, y, so y minus six is one of the factor, right? And that is going to be equal to zero. Or, or uh, y minus five is equal to zero, right? So either one of them is equal to zero and the zero product property would be, would, would be true because this times this equal to zero. So either one of them has to be equal to zero. Well, if this is equal to zero, then we need to solve this equation in order to know what the value for y is. Well, y is equal to positive six. We just simply add six to this side, right? So that's one of our solutions. And then the same thing for this, we use inverse operation to remove the negative five. So we end up with a positive five is the value for the y variable. So this is an easy, easy case, right? So you just do the opposite of what's inside the um, uh, parentheses. Uh, y equals to six or y equals to five. Submit. Okay. All right. This is another case that is easy. I'm going to type it this time so that you can see it without my ugly handwriting. <laughs> the first factor equal to zero or the second factor equal to zero. And then we solve them, we solve for these um, linear equations separately, right? So we have um, g equals to negative two, right? We move the two to the other side, or, or we have um, g is equal to negative four, right? So it's the opposite of that, okay? The inverse operation. So those right there is our um, solution. So negative two, and then negative four. And I think the next one, if it's a repeat, I'm gonna um, jump level, okay? All right, it is a repeat, so I'm gonna jump level here just so that you guys get to see uh, other type of problems. So uh, here's a similar problem, but the uh, the inside parenthesis has a little um, uh, coefficient in front of that N. So I'm gonna do this one just to let you see that it's the same thing but uh, it takes a little extra step to do it. So the first one is easy. The first uh, uh, factor, n minus one is equal to zero, okay? And then the second factor is five n minus six equal to zero, right? So that's its own factor. The first one is easy. We can just do n equals to positive one. That's our solution. Now the second one, second equation is actually a two-step equation. So we're gonna do four, five n, is equal to positive six, right? Where we're doing the inverse operation to move the negative six to the other side and it becomes positive six. And then we divide by, uh, we divide it by, um, by five to get n by itself, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'll take this. Ah. So n, move over here. Oh, it's not working anymore. My text is not working, I don't know why. Oh, there it is, okay. Let's start to, maybe my internet is slow. N equals to six divided by five. So six divided by five is just a fraction, right? So we're gonna leave it like that. We don't have to get a decimal answer. So I'm gonna enter my solution here, one, and then six uh, over five as a fraction. Six over five. 
expand and I'll submit that. There you go. All right, this one similar to the last one. So we're gonna jump level one more time, see what kind of problems we get here. Uh, same thing, same thing, jump level. Uh, is that the same thing? That looks exactly like the same thing as the last time. Okay, maybe it's not letting me jump level. It's it's keep giving me the same problem. Okay, so maybe I'll do this one, okay? <laughs> Q plus nine equals zero. That's my first case. Or five Q minus one equal zero. That's my second case, right? The first case is easy. Q is equal to negative nine, right? Negative nine. That's easy case. Or this one is a two-step equation. So we have 5q is equal to positive 1, positive 1. And then we're going to divide by 5, right? So we get q is equal to, now it's 1 divided by 5, not 5 divided by 1, okay? Because we have to move the 5, not moving the 1. So it's 1 over 5, okay? So we're going to type in our solution, negative 9. And then this one is 1 over Five. So you can type the slash there. One divided by five. And our submit. Yay. Okay. What kind of. So this one's pretty much the same thing, right? Move the nine. Set that equal to zero. Move the nine. Set this equal to zero. Move the five. And then divide it by the four. Let's jump level one more time. See what we get. Excellent. We are in the jump zone. Okay. So um, the jump zone, it's the same thing. It's just that we ha we now have two two-step equation. So we, the first equation we have is 4n minus 9 equal to 0. And you can solve that right away if you want, or you can go ahead and write the two cases down. 4n minus 5 equals to 0. And a lot of times, if you are good with two-step equation, you can do this in your head. The first equation, you know you're going to add the 9 to the other side and then divide it by 4. So right away, you can just type in your solution. It's 9 over 4. Right. And then the second one, you know, you're going to move the negative five to the other side. So it'll be positive five. Right. So it's positive five divided by four eventually. So the solution is five over four. So uh, many, many times you can do this in your head because a lot of time they are just two step equations. Right. So I'm going to type in my solution here was nine over four. And then this one is five over four. It. Excellent. Okay, they are pretty much similar uh, situation. You either you set this one equal to zero, set that one equal to zero, and then solve your two-step equations. And just be careful with uh, with your signs when you're moving things to the opposite sign. Make sure you do um, inverse operations. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so this is called uh, solving uh, factor form using the zero product property, okay? And this is uh, one of the easier methods of um, uh, solving quadratic equations. So um, I'll see you in the next videos where we have more complicated methods to solve quadratic equations. Thank you for watching, and don't, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.